Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope you're doing well. James Gunn just announced his DC slate for what's up next, so let's discuss it right now. All right, before I, uh, before we look at it, I want to say that I, when James Gunn was denounced as the head of the DC films, I was so excited because I love James Gunn's ideas and movies. Guardians of the Galaxy 1, one of my favorite superhero movies. Guardians 2 is awesome. All of his movies are just great, in my opinion, but I'm so excited for him to do this. He first announced that Elseworlds will be a different universe with Matt Reeves' Batman, the Joker movies, and other movies, which is exciting seeing that these could be universes that could actually interact with each other uh, later in the DC universe. And secondly, he said he loves the Flash movie coming out this year with Ezra Miller and says it will basically reset the whole entire DC timeline or universe, which I'm really intrigued about because... I know Ezra Miller has done some bad things, but he says he's trying to get better. And I try to separate the work from the actor. And I love I love Ezra Miller's work in a lot of different movies. And I'm excited to see what he does with the Flash movie. Because we even got Michael Keaton's Batman, which is going to be super interesting. So I'm very excited for that reset of the universe right there. Thirdly, he said that Aquaman 2 basically leads directly into James Gunn's DC Universe 8-10 to 10 year plan. Excited that it's 8 to 10 years long plan. You need a plan for things like this. I love Aquaman, so I'm excited that Jason Momoa is staying as our Aquaman. First Aquaman was such a fun movie. This second one looks even more unique. I can't wait for that. And James Gunn said the first chapter is called Gods and Monsters. That is very intriguing. And he announced basically only a few of the first chapter, which means we got a lot more coming from this chapter. The first one he announced was called Creature Commandos, which is an animated series written by James Gunn. And the characters, he didn't really say a lot about this, but it's an animated show. And he says that characters in DC can actually move in and out of animation with the same voice actor and the same person playing in live action. That is awesome in my opinion. I've always wanted a universe where characters you can see in animation can also come in during live action and they're the same character who have gone through the same things and what's awesome is hearing that they'll be played by the same voice actor and live action actor that is a great idea for him i love that he went with that next he said that there's a waller show coming up with viola davis is basically going to team up with the peacemaker team some of them and i heard it's going to take place in between peacemaker one and two so I'm very excited for that because I, for one, loved Peacemaker Season 1. I think it came out last year. So I'm excited to see what that has to do with it. And I love Viola Davis as Waller. I was going to be sad if she left, but I love that she's going to be back in it. Next, he announced Superman Legacy. And it's going to be even written by James Gunn. And we even got a release date. It's coming out July 11, 2025. That is so exciting to me. I've wanted a new Superman film for so long. It kind of sucks. It's not going to be Henry Cavill, but I'm I'm really happy that James Gunn is going with a younger person because we need someone that doesn't that's not too old because they're going to be around in this new universe for over 10 years. So it's going to be really exciting to see. And I'm happy we got a release date 2025. That's only like two years away. James Gunn is really planning this out and I'm happy to see it. I'm a big fan of the Superman the character and I'm happy to see what he does and who he casts in it. And next we got Lanterns, which is going to be an HBO show. It's going to be a story of a couple Green Lanterns, kind of like True Detective, uh, Space Cops, and it ties into the larger story of the DCU. That's exciting. I'm not really familiar with a lot of Green Lantern stuff, but I do like uh, I do like some of the animated stuff the Green Lanterns were in. And hearing it's like True Detective is actually very intriguing. So I'm excited to watch that show when it comes out. Next up, we got The Authority, which I've never personally heard of, but they're basically a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and want to fix it. But James did say they're not like every other superhero story who wants to fix the world. So that's pretty intriguing to hear about. I'm pretty sure that is a movie, but I'm not sure too much. But I don't know anything about them, but I'm excited to meet them. And next up, we got Paradise Lost, which is another television series it's going to be about the inhabitants of Paradise Island, where Wonder Woman actually grew up. And James Gunn says it's going to be like Game of Thrones, which is, that's heavy to hear, but that's exciting. Game of Thrones is a high-tier action series, 
So we'll see if this is like a high high tier show. I I'm excited for it. I don't know what it who's going to be in it. What's what's it really going to be about? But this is exciting. Another announcement, and James Gunn said the Brave and the Bold is coming, which is a son about Batman and his son Damian Wayne. It's basically going to be a movie, and it's going to be the beginning of the Bat family, which is awesome because we're going to finally be seeing the whole Bat family in the larger DC universe. But the real question is, who is James Gunn going to get to play Batman in his DC universe? I'm not saying it can't be someone who, who's already played him, but it's going to be interesting to see who he gets to play Batman and Damian Wayne. I, I'm, I'm really on board, though, with the story of Batman and his son, Damian Wayne. I feel like that could be a really good story. And hearing we're going to get the Bat family is really exciting. Next, we got Booster Gold, which I wasn't familiar with before James Gunn started talking about it. But once he started uh, describing what he is, I'm really excited for him now. I want to get his comics now. He sounds like a really cool character. It's going to be a TV show. He's basically a loser from the future and uses basically the future's technology to come back in the past and become a superhero in the past so that people will love him. I feel like that story is just, it's kind of funny, but it's its an interesting story, I think. I, I'm really excited to just pick up some comics on that hero and see the TV show. But I kind of wish that could have been a movie, to be honest. That could have been a cool movie with a big budget, but who knows what it'll be like. Next up, we got Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which is going to be a movie. James Gunn didn't give a lot of details on this project, but I'm excited we're going to get Superman and Supergirl. That's going to be pretty cool. And the last thing that James Gunn did announce was that Swamp Thing is going to be coming. It's going to be a movie. And it's basically going to be the origins of Swamp Thing. And James Gunn said it's going to be like a horror movie. James Gunn has done horror, so he, he could even direct this. But hearing it's going to be a horror movie is going to be awesome. I really did like the Swamp Thing show that got canceled, sadly, after one season. So I'm excited where he goes from here. But let me just say, I'm really impressed with James Gunn and his announcements here. Because I was only expecting like three to four projects to be announced, the main ones. But this just knocked it out of the park. I, I'm really excited for what he has to come here. And I loved all the projects that he announced. I feel like they're going to be awesome. But the real question is... Who is he going to cast for these projects and who's going to direct him? I don't know. That could make or break the series, but I'm excited to see where they go. Tell me in the comments what you guys think of his announcements, and I'll see you guys in the next video.